Yes! Yes! Fucking one not noise. Oh my god, what a game by him. What a game. I'm sorry, Lev. I'm sorry, Ren. I'm sorry, Kay. What a game by Matthew Nyes. Oh my god. Fucking right! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. So, uh, that, that little, that start for the video, um, that was just, that was just a pure reaction. Um, I was like, you know what? Last year, John Tavares uh, wins it in OT in Game 6 for the Leafs to finally break that round one curse. They defeated the Tampa Bay Lightning. And my mindset was, okay, I'm going to record this, and it could happen. And they did it, and they won, and I think the reaction's on the channel somewhere. I've got, I've got to turn my leaf on. I'm still so pumped. Anyway, but so this year I'm like, you know what, I'm going to record it again. It was good luck, okay? I I started out the game. I was I was with my my son. We were chilling in his bed. He's three. He was watching his, you know, he was doing his uh, his routine for with his with his iPad thing. And I was like, I'm gonna watch the first period with him. He scored. It was great. And then he had to go to bed. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch it in the living room this year. I'm gonna watch this game in the living room. The Leafs need to win. That's what happening in Tampa Bay. I watched it in the living room. We're watching it down in like this basement um, setup uh, all series, and it just hasn't worked. So I did that. I brought the couch really close to the TV and everything, and then so Boston obviously scored on a Benoit turnover, and Benoit almost did it in overtime again. If you watch the video, I cursed Benoit, but it's okay because Joseph Wall, Steve Dangle went off about Joseph Wall needs to start uh, the rest of the series. Samsonov's done as a leaf, whatever, 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 and I completely agreed with him. And look what Joseph Wall did tonight. He got beat on a turnover when he wasn't set, um, and then he almost got beat on a on a dump in that kind of caught him. He had one crossbar. Willie had a crossbar as well, so we, we can cancel those out. Him and Swayman went back and forth with big saves, but Wall made so many big saves. And he's stopping Frederick near the end of the third period on an amazing save. Um, he, he's stoning Charlie Coyle in overtime and whoever else in overtime. And 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 it's it's John Tavares getting the puck, and he could have just dumped it in, but he said, wait, Matt Grizzick. I'm a bit bigger than him. I can work this. I'm going to drive, and I'm going to drop my left shoulder. I'm going to take this to the net, and he one-hands it out front, and Matt Nyes comes off the bench, who's had himself a game, and he scores. Joseph Wall with the big save. The captain comes through again, and Matt Nyes, who had himself a game, who went after Marshand, who went after Pasternak, who said, I'll take you all on. I saw all over Twitter or X that it's like, sign this guy now for a lifetime contract, and yes, he showed up in a big game and he needed him. He showed up last year against Tampa Bay, then he got hurt against Florida, and he shows up tonight with no Austin Matthews, and he does that. Joseph Wall shows up. McCabe gets a goal. Someone from the point gets a goal. You have Holmberg going at Marshand. You have the linesman taking out Marshand, which was hilarious. Um, they shut down the power play. The penalty kill was good. Ryan Reeves was out there for a little bit, but he laid a couple hits. Yeah, he misplayed the puck a bunch, but hey, it doesn't matter. Uh, Dewar was in, and he misplayed the puck a couple times, but they didn't play in the overtime which I'm fine with Dewar might have in camp but just wasn't Reeves uh, who else Domi at center he went eight for eight for faceoffs at one point and he was stellar um, Mitch Marner I thought looked great I wish he would shoot the puck he did shoot the puck and near the end of the third period and that was awesome because he almost scored caught swimming up high Hopefully they, they have a conversation with Max where it's like, hey, Max, you don't always have to pass. You can shoot. We've seen you shoot. We've seen you in overtime. You don't need to pass that puck to Bertuzzi. God, if we can get him shooting as well, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm so ecstatic. Uh, I'm ecstatic. Holy crap. Toronto takes it, and then they're, they're going to game six. They played their best game of the series. Like, game two was really good, but this was the best game of the series for them overall everyone playing great because like in game two Samsonov didn't have that good first period and then he really pulled it out second and third Joseph Wall was phenomenal from start to finish he is the starter he is the future um, of the Toronto Maple Leafs I thought everyone else had a great game as well and holy crap god that was that's exciting I don't I can't even break down the game I'm not good enough to do it I'm not in the mindset to like it's crazy. I don't even have my jersey on. I, I, I'm just I'm wearing this 1917 Toronto Maple Leaf shirt. And you know what? I guess i got to wear it again on Thursday. Oh, freaking right. Oh, man. What a game by this Leafs team.
what a game. Sat into the, the building early, and then when Boston scores, um, it was kind of like, oh no, deflating. But the Leafs kept at it. They were out shooting them like 13-2 at one point, and then it was like 18-7. It got a little bit closer, but Toronto was still out shooting them. Toronto was out chancing them. There were so many chances. I thought Willie was going to score on that beautiful break. What a feed by Edmondson. Ah, this team, this team, they had a good game. They had a great game. If they played like this all series, they're beating Boston Bruins. They didn't even have Austin Matthews. And they pissed off Marchant. And Matt and I just laughed at passion. I said, I'll take you on right now. And I was like, yeah, do it. Do it, Matt. <laughs> Feed him. Why not? Marchand going at Holmberg. Holmberg's going, I'm going right back at you. The refs decide, do you know what? I for I think we buggered up the last time with, with uh, Marchand and Bertuzzi, and it led to a goal. Maybe we should just call both of them now. And the Boston Bruins fan base is obviously, um, you know, complaining, bitching and moaning, which, you know, I would be doing the same thing if it was at home for the Leafs and I was there. Um, but really, yeah, coincidentals make sense. Uh, God, freaking right. <clears throat> Toronto Maple Leafs are still alive. Ryan Reeves said, I don't know if I have the quote. If I do have the quote, I'm going to throw it up here or here about like they, they lost last year when they were up 3-1. You know, they came, the, the Florida Panthers came back and defeated them. It's happened before. They believe in themselves and Toronto had a game. They had themselves a game. That was the Mitch Marner we need to see. That was the Domi we need to see. That was the Bertuzzi we need to see. I wish we could just finish a little bit more, but who cares? You beat... Jeremy Swayman. Jeremy Swayman and Allmark still haven't won a game five. You scored on him in the first period, cracked a crossbar, and you won it in OT. Oh, we can celebrate now. We can celebrate now. For now. For now. What do we got? Thursday? Thursday's game six at home. Fan base, if you're going, be loud. This team can do it. Underdog story. Come on, Leafs. Shock the frickin' world. Take care, everyone. Go Leafs, go.